Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks for tuning in uh, today. Um, I have a couple more repairs I need to do to this car. Uh, first thing in this video, um, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but uh, uh, first of all, I'm trying to take care of my EGR, okay? As you all guys know, the EGR valve in these cars is pretty much pointless. Maybe not so much pointless unless you live in California. In California, you might need something like that because EGR valve, it recirculates the uh, exhaust fumes uh, back to the intake. And, uh, you know, since California has pretty strict uh, emissions and all that stuff, you might not want to do it to your car. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it, but I'm going to do it a different way. I'm not going to, I did not purchase the EGR delete kit because I'm going to show you there's another way of deleting your EGR valve without actually, you know, doing much without even purchasing a EGR delete kit. Uh, but you have to make sure that your EGR valve is not stuck closed or stuck open. You gotta, you need to, you're gonna need to have a, or get a, a vacuum pump gauge because you're gonna need to test the um, EGR valve, which is located right here. And this tube goes to the exhaust manifold. Uh, and it comes out right here. And then um, during specific RPMs, uh, you know, this valve gets opened up by this vacuum line that connects to it and gets opened up. So um, what happens with this is because all the diesel uh, exhaust suit comes here and it just uh, uh, it just creates a really bad uh, compound and all the sludge that builds up in the turbo area and in the intake manifold and it's not really a good thing but well, I've been running uh, this engine like that for quite a while and I'm sure nobody has ever done it. And this engine has like 450,000 miles and it's running strong. OM617, the best engine in the world. Uh, but I still, you know, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this EGR um, and you guys will see how I'm gonna do it. And um, in the future, I wanna take this manifold off and the turbo, maybe rebuild the turbo and also clean the intake manifold really good, replace the intake manifold slash exhaust manifold gaskets and all that stuff. And there's a bunch of things that I wanna do to this car, you know, and doing it slowly. Um, what else? Yeah, so that's pretty much the what I'm gonna do now. And uh, the first thing is I'm gonna remove this vacuum line and test the EGR valve. A few moments later. Yeah, first thing is to remove this hose. Now, have the vacuum pump. We're gonna insert the vacuum pump. A little loose so you might have to grab this like that and then I'm gonna pump okay so I'm gonna pump. I have to hold it tightly dropping so maybe we can wake it up oh look at that I think I just woke it up right now it's holding vacuum let's see if it's gonna drop nope all right let's try it again CGR 
is no good. It's not holding vacuum. Now, I'm going to try to do something else. Just to make sure my connection is good. Put it right there. Can I do this? One eternity later. Alright guys, I have a little bit different setup. Right, and I already checked. There's no leaks. There's, uh, I mean, there's no leaks as far as uh, vacuum pump. But right now, I connected it here to the AGR valve, and I'm gonna pump it up again to 15 inches of mercury, and we're gonna see if it's gonna hold. So it's right about 15. As you can see, it's slowly dropping it's no good I'm not doing anything just gonna position it right there you guys can observe seven eight inches of mercury and it's Slowly dropping and everything is leak proof as far as this hose that's connected to the vacuum pump. So seems like it stopped right there. Now what you can do, let's say if yours is holding, you can release the vacuum and listen for a click. If you release the vacuum and hear that valve snap inside, means it's good. So I'm gonna release the vacuum now and listen if uh, it's gonna snap. I did not hear much. Let's pump it again. Let's try now. Release. Try again. I heard the click like a snap. Yeah, she's trying to, yeah, she's just leaking slowly. Yeah, so you can hear a click, but the valve is still no good. Slowly leaking. Anyways, so that's pretty much the test of the EGR valve. And if it's leaking like mine is, it's not a big deal because what you're going to do I'll show you. So we're gonna take this EGR valve off and we're gonna take this clamp off on the top only. Of course disconnect your vacuum line and I'm gonna clean it and put it back in and um, the reason why I want to take it out is I want to make sure that it's actually stuck closed and that it's not actually open and just want to make sure that it's holding, you know, it's not leaking any exhaust fumes past by it. So, and then if there's any junk, I'm going to clean it up as much as I can. Now we're gonna grab this six millimeter Allen. I'm gonna remove 
two bolts for the EGR valve. And this clamp is already loose. Okay. One bolt. Take off the second one. Yeah, so I feel like I'm gonna need remove this bolt all the way Spread this. <laughs> Slowly remove our EGR valve. There's pretty much a lot of junk in there. Yeah. So ideally, I'm gonna need to remove the whole intake manifold to clean it up pretty good. <laughs> but this does not look good. Let me show you the EGR valve. So, are you guys ready to see the world's worst EGR valve looking ever? <laughs> there she is. So that's your simple EGR valve and it's pretty gunked up. It looks really bad. It seems like it's been here for many, many years. Nobody has ever touched it probably since 1981. So, she's seen better days but uh, She's not uh, working pretty good, I believe so, is because uh, she needs to be cleaned up pretty good because she looks really bad. You guys haven't seen the worst part yet, but I'm gonna show it to you uh, really soon. Just be patient. Uh, I'm looking at it right now, but <laughs> it does not look good. Um, and then this, uh, uh, so as you guys remember, that we, did, we just did the test, the vacuum test. And it, it did not hold vacuum. That's probably because She's really gunked up, so I'm gonna try and show you. Position it here. Use this flat tire. <laughs> it does not look good, guys. She doesn't look good. <laughs> and uh, dummy me, I don't even have a brake cleaner with me. So that's the best part. Let me try and clean it as much as I can. She's pretty gunked up. One hour later. And 
it's pretty like dry too. Look at this. It's a lot of powdery stuff. I will clean this all up guys, just so you know. I won't leave it like that, but I just wanted to show you. All this like powderish soup coming out. And inside of it, it looks pretty gunked up from soot mixed with oil. Anyways, I'm gonna try to clean it. I wish me luck without even having a brake cleaner, but I have a distilled water. Whoa, B, what are you doing, B? What do you want? I'm just working on a car. Go away. What, what, what? Go away, buddy. <laughs> Guys, you're afraid of bees? <laughs> I just think it's funny. I try to play with them. Well, unfortunately, the GoPro has a, such a wide angle, you guys can't see much of that bee, but she went to do her own stuff. She's probably replacing the EGR valve as well, and she was just asking for advice. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning this thing. Um, as far as this, uh, could be better, but uh, there's some condensation in this thing, uh, which is normal. But I'm gonna leave the gasket in place and uh, I'm gonna clean it up and then uh, get back to you guys. So, guys, <laughs> here's my EGR valve, and since today I don't have cleaner, brake brake cleaner or anything. I'm going to use a glass cleaner. line to it and that way it's gonna stay closed right now I just want to make sure that it's pretty clean over here and that it's not leaking any air passed through it and that it's stuck closed not open one eternity later so I connected the vacuum pump to it and as you can see I can lift the valve when I pump the vacuum what it does it actually lifts the valve from inside. So I'm gonna pump it right now. Alright, so that's like 18 and it's still it's slowly coming down, which kind of sucks. But the reason why I wanna do this is because I can clean this like fast right now. And the best thing is to use a pick as well, clean all the junk from the inside of it, right there where it sits the area where the valve sits on because there's junk look at this thing there's so much junk in there like crazy look so this is what we deal with the om616 om617 owners and other diesel owners as well but we still love these cars we still love these engines so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning that valve up and I'm probably gonna reinstall it back. Of course, like you guys know, I'm gonna lubricate all the bolts with uh, uh, wheel bearing grease, uh, put it, everything back together. Um, and yeah, we're gonna start the car a little later, um, but everything should be good. Uh, just the main thing is to take off that valve, clean it really good, and reinstall it back. Better, but. 
from the inside I had this uh, valve lifted up it's so cool this valve looks like literally like an intake or exhaust valve on the engine it's pretty cool I like it mm, but the issue with this valve is that the diaphragm there's probably a diaphragm rubber diaphragm inside that's uh, torn and it's leaking that's why it's not holding vacuum but I'm not worried about it I just want to make sure that this valve stays closed all the time which it does right now and by removing by plugging this vacuum port it's gonna stay closed all the time so it's basically gonna be like EGR delete uh, so I don't even have to you know remove any of these parts you know just I can put everything back together I just need to plug this line off and that's it this port is gonna be plugged up and uh, that's all I'm not gonna I'm basically gonna have no vacuum coming to it and I'm not gonna need to worry about the EGR delete kit I can leave this valve on and I can leave this uh, metal tubing on uh, that comes from the exhaust manifold Alright guys, so I'm ready to install this back. This is all cleaned up from the outside and inside as well uh, with the glass cleaner. Uh, so <laughs> it worked pretty good. Uh, as you guys remember that bee that was flying around, she came back and she was asking for like more advices, you know, because she's also doing the same job like I am. But uh, you know, I told her, you know, like, you know, just you know, you can use my glass cleaner, so she used my glass cleaner to do the same thing on her 300 SD. I'm just kidding. Uh, so anyways, uh, let's install this back uh, on the car, and it's all cleaned up. Uh, I'm gonna just grab some uh, wheel bearing grease and uh, lubricate the bolts, and she should be all good to go. And we pretty much don't need the uh, EGR Delete Kit, which, uh, you know, just, I, keep, I like to keep you know the cars uh, the car parts like are all in place you know um, that way you know it's kind of like original so uh, I could get you know like the EGR delete kit but I was like hey you know this is like the easiest thing you know to be honest with you you don't even need to remove this valve you could just uh, on your car you could just unplug this hose and just plug it up with something like a golf tee and that's it you know that would take care of the thing of course the best thing is to actually test it with the vacuum pump make sure it's your uh, that your EGR valve is actually not stuck open uh, so but in this case this this thing is right now gonna be stuck closed so none of the uh, exhaust fumes are gonna go through it and back into intake manifold uh, so that's a big plus and yes it is original part made in Germany um, there's a date on it I think there's a date on it but it looks like from it's from 1981 so <laughs> anyways guys let's go um, finish this thing up and uh, as you can see I'm working out in the parking lot <laughs> usual stuff yes there's a you know hey there's a some guy on guy on YouTube it's called uh, his channel is called Vita's garage and I don't know why it's Vita's garage he doesn't even have a garage so here I am. Welcome to my uh, Vito's garage, guys. <laughs> the garage that doesn't exist just yet, but <laughs> the garage that I call it's actually a parking lot garage. <laughs> That's what it is. Anyways, guys, enough talking, uh, more doing. So, a few moments later. Lubrication, yay! Same with the second one. Even though it needed, it did not need to be lubricated because there was like engine oil on it, but I still lubricated it. Alright guys, 
it. So right now I'm just gotta tighten these two. Don't need to go crazy. Just snug. Good. So there's a clamp, and I'm gonna make it easy. Put a crease on it, and I'm gonna slip it through. Now you're gonna have to compress the clamp. And then start it by hand. Use a socket to help you out. Okay, so she's resisting. She's resisting. Here's what we're gonna do. We gotta try to compress this clamp a little bit like so hope you guys can see that pretty well compressing that thing and grab a socket and now we're gonna turn it She's going in now. That's it. So, before you tighten it all the way, just position it somewhere like this. So it's going to be nice. To remove it and easy. She's good. So, don't have to go crazy. Just make sure you tighten it that it doesn't move anymore, which it doesn't. So, that's a success. I'm gonna clean it here and there nicely. All right, and now the main goal is to plug this thing so no junk goes in there, and also plug this guy. Hey guys, so that's the success. So I plugged it up right there and this thermal switch as well. And that's it. Basically you guys have uh, an EGR delete kit on the OM617 engine. Uh, pretty simple. And like I said, you don't need to remove the EGR valve. You just have to test it, make sure it's not stuck open or something. But if you wanna do a quick EGR delete kit, then you just unplug this and plug these two, um, like this hose, plug this hose up with something like golf tee or a bolt or something in this as well. And it's pretty much done. You don't have to do all this extra work, remove this heat shield and, you know, get to that end. And plus, um, this looks original. That's awesome, but also keep you guys in mind that if you're from California or somewhere where you have to do the emissions, you might need that EGR valve because it does actually reduce emissions and uh, it's actually needed. But since I'm from Illinois, they don't have that. Actually, these old school cars are awesome. You know, if you have a, if you live in Illinois and you have a 95 car or older, um, there's exempt from emissions. You just have to renew the registration every year pretty much. So pretty cool. California, take notes.